Yeah, uh, gender swapped Alfred e. Newman. Have you ever met a flash? That was a Nazi. I have it on film and he attacked me. Okay. I my Ninth Amendment rights to not be unlawfully. Hey, you just touched my penis. Please don't do that. I'm not transgender, non binary. I don't want to be searched by a man. Yeah, I met the flash. Like everybody else has ever met him, I thought it was an unbearable D-bag. Now, we were hoping we wouldn't have to talk about Ezra Miller. You'll spend the rest of your life behind bars and in front of your new husband. But given his behavior and that he's starring in a film called The Flash, how could we not? Can we have one family meal without someone flashing their genitalia? So prepare to suit up as we flash our bags in salute to the latest entry of DC Studios in Warner Brothers' production of The Flash. <laughs> Based on the DC Flashpoint storyline, Ezra Miller portrays Barry Allen, who travels back in time to prevent his mother's murder. Weird. Same cause of death as those three guys in that local public bathroom. Which traps him in an alternate reality without metahumans to save humanity from Superman villain General Zod. Who is this imbecile? Forcing him to enlist the help of previously cancelled Kryptonian Supergirl, Sasha Call, and multiple versions of the Batman played by Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck. Hey, look, is that Dad? Either that or Batman's really let himself go. Now, if I have to summarize Ezra Miller's acting... Mm. But you have to admit, when it comes to running, he certainly trained for the role. I gotta find him! <laughs> to Ireland! And given the actor's ego, it's no surprise he's playing with himself on screen. I can't believe I kissed you. Must have been your lifelong ambition. Seriously, couldn't Warner find somebody in Hollywood just as qualified to play this role? Due to my extensive qualifications, I would like a salary between $350,000 to $500,000 so that I could support my lifestyle, fund my cocaine habit, and care for my wife who has stage 5 testicular cancer. And while I enjoyed Michael Keaton and even Ben Affleck's performance as Batman, I would prefer a Supergirl who's a little more feminine. But given modern Hollywood's definition, maybe that's a good thing. Now, I realize DC is going through a massive reboot. Superman dies, Aquaman dies, Casper dies, Caveman Robin, Black Robin, Born Again Robin. And if they fail, Hollywood will be all over them. <laughs> and while we wish Ezra Miller well in his future acting roles... Wait till I make you act out Kojak with me. The strange case of the disappearing lollipop. It go in your ass. But when this movie comes out, if it's as bad as we think it is, as far as this channel's concerned... I'll do to him what I did to the Riddler. Thank you for watching, and as always remember, when they decide to clutch their pearls, we'll provide the necklace right here on Salty Buttered Bags.